Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be discussing vidIQ and the channel audit tool. And so if you are a YouTube creator and you have more than 20 videos, after a while, it's going to really seem like a daunting task to go ahead and optimize the videos in case you're missing tags. They're just not performing well. The thumbnail sucks. Something's going on with that video. And this is all going to go ahead and be fixed by the channel audit tool here. So let me show you guys how this tool looks. So we are signed into our vidIQ account and I have the premium version here and they also have a free version as well. And if you guys want to go ahead and improve your YouTube channel, right where this little drop down is, click on this button right here and select channel audit. And at the top of this search bar, I'm actually getting some information here, which is not too promising to me, but nonetheless, it's helpful. So my views are down a little bit. My subscribers month over month are a little down. However, my minutes watched are improving. And if I wanted to continue to grow my channel, it gives me some content that I should double down on. And it gives me the views per hour on all of these videos. This gives me an engagement rate and also it gives me the views on my last four videos that I released. Let's me know what videos are gaining the most amount of subscribers and gives me competitors videos. So here is going to be another video. I have no idea what it's about, but it's getting a lot of views. So if I wanted to go ahead and make a video about that same topic, this would be a good place to start. And also I get the total watch time, average watch times, top retention, top playlists, and top suggested videos that are recommending my channel on theirs. And this is how I'm getting found. So these are the top search phrases, fix a flat, X tool D8, and gives me some end screen click rates, some card click rates. And I really like to focus on some of these videos here. This is gonna be content that can actually use work. So this video right here about the OBD2 port is not doing really well, as it's got the lowest average wash time. And this will go ahead and help me improve what I'm doing. And by finding this out without having to go through and basically go through video by video, I can go ahead and really optimize the channel a lot faster. Videos are not getting too many likes and videos that are losing subs. It gives me my average character length. And before I had vidIQ, my character length was going to be anywhere from 90 to 100. So I've really learned to go ahead and dial it back a little bit. And before I had vidIQ, my actionable score was going to be in the low teens. So this is definitely improving. Now I have nine videos that end screens and videos that are not on a playlist. And it gives me my average posting schedule. So I post a video about every two weeks. And I'm also able to just click on these links here. They're hyperlinked. So if I wanted to find videos that don't have end screens, I can go ahead and just click on that, add my end screen and be done with it. And this one makes a lot of sense why it doesn't have an end screen because it's actually a short. And on the left hand side of the channel audit, I also have some additional tools here. So I have the main dashboard, video ideas, the keyword inspector, most viewed competitors, trends, subscriber analysis. And this is pretty interesting. This is what my subscribers are watching. And here's similar channels that they're watching. And it gives me a time which is going to be best for me to post my videos. So this is very informational here and we got the vidIQ Academy and if you guys want to attend the Academy, I believe you could even do the Academy for free with the free membership. So if you guys are new to YouTube and you really want to cut your learning curve in half, go ahead and check that out guys. It will really open up your eyes on how to make better titles, better thumbnails and it's really premium content. And then we have the bulk SEO. So the bulk SEO tab is really nice because this is going to allow me to go ahead and add tags to videos that don't have many with just a few clicks. So this is going to be a recommendation for this video and it gives me a remaining character amount. And if my tags become too much, it'll give me a warning right here. So there you guys go. I showed you guys a little bit about the vidIQ channel audit. I hope it was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up. I'll have links to anything in the video description box below, including a link to the video comparing vidIQ to TubeBuddy and some of the other features of vidIQ. So check those out. 
And by using those links in the video description, you're really helping the channel grow. Thank you.